morning it's january 30th at eight o'clock in the morning at 34 degrees yes 34 degrees nice out there this morning i'm gonna have some nice hot tea i got the little bit of the heat blowing here i got the door open so it ain't i don't feel it too bad Ooh, the breeze is blowing now that's what you get you get a lot of breeze by the water i think that's why that lady said you went by the water Probably thinking you're gonna freeze. Nah, I'm good. Enjoy the view. Very quiet out here. Alrighty, I'm gonna go make some tea and see what I can get into today. See you in the bathroom. Right over there's the bathroom. Look at this view. It's just gorgeous. It is a little nippy, but it's early. Maybe I'll get to wear actual pants today. I don't know. Show you the bathroom. This is where you walk in. There's a toilet there. It's kind of octagonish. There's another toilet here. It's not that bad. It's a little dated and old, but it's clean. And they got the other bathroom, and it's um, it is uh, heated. I know. I hope you can hear me. See, that's a nice one there. I guess it's like a handicap one. And we got another shower here. shower here. I probably use the handicap one because well I guess you can't put your stuff there. You can hang your stuff here. The other ones don't have any hooks. Oh there's a hook. Yeah. I don't know. But that's the bathroom. I guess they're alright for what they are. Got a nice heater. That's nice. Alright, let's go back to our camp. I'm going to do some little laundry too for I leave. Boy, these are seeing better days. Big buckets. Yeah. Pretty nice. Ah, it's a nice campground. I mean, look at all the spaces. Imagine being a kid in the summertime, going camping with your family. That's all I can do is imagine it because we never did it. One time we went with my aunt. First time we ever went camping, they had one you pulled behind. And it was me, my sister, and my two cousins. And I was probably 10, 11, 12 years old. And do you know that was the first time I ever had tacos? <laughs> yeah. This kind of shows you my background a little bit. Um, yeah, the kind you make out of a box. It's not like you went to a Mexican restaurant. At that point in my life, I never even ate Mexican food. Ever. I was probably like 10, 11 maybe. Really not sure. Uh, I might have been 12. I don't know, but yeah. And every time I eat tacos to this day, I think of that. Because I can remember we were going to have tacos for dinner. And you got to put your own toppings on. I thought it was like the greatest event, you know. Yeah. Crazy though, huh? Alrighty, I'm going to Get back to my camp. I'm gonna make some hot tea, and as soon as I figure out what we're gonna do for I the decided day. what we're gonna do. I gotta do something with this hair. <coughs> it's just so windy. It's blowing all over the place. It's making me crazy. <coughs> um, we're gonna go to Emerson River Park. They have seven miles trails through pine forest and around lakes and stuff. I looked it up online. It's about ten miles from here. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, I think it's only going to get like 50 degrees the highest today. A little maybe 53 or something like that. So I think I'm going to wear um, pants, a long sleeve shirt, and I'll bring a jacket with me because I will be walking by water. Because I know I have to have the door shut a little bit. I had the heater on and just opened a little and the reflectic off. But uh, it is a little breezy out there if you're not dressed for it. <coughs> so uh, yeah and I'm gonna try to get my videos up I'm having a heck of a time with internet um, just please be patient with me I am doing the best I can um, yeah <laughs> I mean I have I can't 
I can't do it off. It won't. It will upload, but it won't download on. It'll upload from my editing thing, but it won't download to YouTube. And it's driving me crazy. And I have Verizon. It should, but I'm sure I have unlimited, and I'm sure it's not unlimited. They tweak it down. I know they do. Um. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is finish my tea. Um, enjoy this view for a little bit and then I'm going to um, I don't know if I want anything to eat or not I'm not really hungry I might have some fruit and um, get dressed and get my stuff packed up here so I can travel with it everything's kind of and then we're gonna take off and I will be back then I'll see you in a bit bye it's a pretty darn big park it's got all kinds of things we got a south end a north end this is an overlook, the overlook and the um, stone pavilions. We'll check those out. And I guess there's a path too, a walking trail right over here. We'll check it out. At this nice sunny park. We're gonna go check out the little stone pavilions over here and then we'll go check out the trail. But I'm gonna turn you around so you can see how beautiful it is. And I have a jacket on, so this kind of weather, I thrive in it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn you around. Those big rocks. Big, huge rocks. You hear the birds. Oh, the pine forest. How I like to walk through a pine forest. Georgia does have some of the most beautiful pines. Oh, look at that. Beach closes at six. I guess that's a trail there, too. Let's walk. Let's walk over this one here. Overlook and Stone Pavilion. Overlook. I'll we'll have to check it out. Well, I got the right jacket on, that's for sure. Ooh, we might even have a hat on. I think I do have a hat. If I go back by the car, I'm gonna grab a hat. I get to wear my hat. I should put my gloves on. <laughs> my hands are cold. Ooh, it's cold wind. I think it's only like 42 or something right now. little pavilions you can have barbecues and stuff wow. how cool this is wow imagine in the summertime having your birthday party here kids would love it run in the woods all together it's seven miles but there's different parts so I'm sure it adds up or something I don't know <laughs> different parts of it I hope I'm not running out of space when I leave here I'm gonna have to go somewhere and download stuff that's for sure all right look at it Yeah, the bugs or the birds or I think those are bugs you hear. Listen. Listen. Wow. See, really you're swimming there. there. But you have to swim at your own risk. You see the current's going quite fast. Let's tie everybody to the a rope to the tree. <laughs> See, we were over there. I'm just kind of galley lagging. It's going to take me a while to get through this. Probably won't do the whole thing today. But I'll tell you what. There's a lot of steps. And there's a lot of uphill. I am going to get my workout today. I really don't think I'll be coming back here tomorrow. Because after today's walk, I'm going to be done. And I'm going to need to rest. So I'll probably be staying at the campground tomorrow because as you can see there's a lot of hills and and things 
I don't want to overdo myself. I'm going to enjoy some of this walk. And um, I'll catch y'all um, back up. We are right here. So I guess this goes all the way around. So I'm gonna People must feed him. People must feed you. But see, I won't feed you because I know how you could be. And you don't look like you're starving. But when I leave, I'm going to leave some crackers for you. Because I don't want him bothering me. bit of wildlife. I'm so peaceful out here. I can listen to it. Oh, look at the bird over there flying. Let's see if I'm getting him. Where is he? There he is. Hmm? Yeah, he just disappeared. Where did he go? Oh, he's way over there. The squirrel's still there. It is chilly outside. It is chilly outside. So I'm sitting in here with my door open. Got the heater going. <laughs> I'm actually having some luck. I actually had some luck at the um, place in the trails, or the blah, 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 place where I went for a walk. Isn't that pretty picture with the sun just shining in there? And um, I got two of them downloaded. I got two of them up before I, well, I got one up while I was there, and then I had to work on the other one so I could delete all that, so I could take more stuff. So now, right now, the last one, is loading up of the um, Beaver Run Park, my last place I was at, and then I could start working on these here. Look at that hill way up there. Can you see that hill? It's like a hill. I tell you, this is a very hilly area. My legs know it. <laughs> they know it. All righty. Oh, oh, isn't this a beautiful cool. view? Ah, uh, yes. But let me tell you, my friends, it's cold outside by the river. Woo! Oh, there's my friend Squirrel. I can tell you one thing I've learned a lesson. In the wintertime, you don't want to be near an open water like this. Because we know it's funny when I came here, I'm like, why aren't these people down by the water? Well, now I know. But that's okay, because I get to look at this, and it's well worth it. I'm going to look at my maps and stuff anyway while I'm sitting here and watching some videos. I'm, I'm um, uploading my last video from Beaver Run RV Park, so hopefully it'll get through tonight. So all of that will be done. So I can clear space on my phone so that I can um, videotape some more. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be a relaxing day, but we're going to take a lot of video. Because I'm sure there's a lot of interesting stuff going on around here during the day. Alrighty, I'll see you in a little bit. I have a squirrel on my roof. Hear him? There's no food out there, so I don't know what he's going to try to get. He was peeking in the window here a minute ago. I don't know what he's doing up there. Oop, there he goes. I guess he's trying to get in and get food is what he's... Oh God, I hope you don't come over here to this hole over here. Where are my things coming in? Because that will not be good. Right there with it. Oh God, I would 
freak out if he came in. <laughs> well, one thing, squirrels never get rabies. They fill up fleas, but they don't get rabies. Because if they did get rabies, we'd be killing them all. Thank God they don't. I think they're adorable. We had a hurricane once, and uh, there was one that fell out of the nest, and we ended up raising it. My daughter did, and she named it Brody. <laughs> and we fed it. I had to feed it while she was in school, and finally one day we let Brody go. He was ready to go, and he went off. But they were so cute. I mean, I mean, they were they would come to you. But then I also noticed with Brody too, he was getting a little bit bigger. He was getting more, a, more a fear of you. His his wild instincts, I think, were coming in, and that's why I told my daughter it's time to let him go. He's big enough to go, you know. So we held on to him as long as we could. He was still a baby when he went, and he was, and he did, and he would come down the tree. Maybe the first couple of days, we would, because she'd, where she set him off, and she'd swear it was him, but then, you know, we didn't, he just never saw him no more, but his name was Brody. <laughs> we fed him, um, the milk you get, kitten milk you buy. Yeah, I, don't, I think he's gone. All right. Beautiful moon, that beautiful sky. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so beautiful outside.